Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. For this video tutorial we're going to start in another program and we're going to select the Inkscape program. I got a question about one of my images at graphicsdaily.blogspot.com and I want to show you how to work with one of the images created there, how to build it. So let's begin, I'm going to select this tool, sadly I have my Inkscape here set up to my to the Greek language, so I'm going to guide you through. Pretty easy stuff, nothing to worry about. I'm going to select this tool right here and I'm going to create a sequence of points. So let's begin. I'm going to click here, 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 and I'm going to create some nice little shape. Okay. All right. Now it won't be as detailed as it was at the image, but just I want just to give you an idea of how you can work it. Clicking, clicking, clicking and creating a nice interesting shape. Alright. Okay, looking good. Alright, let's end it at about here. Now we have our shape in place. What you can also do is add, let's add some squares right here. Okay, one, two, three, a few more, let's add them quickly. Okay, looking good. Let's say one here. All right, we're good. Now what I'll do is move over to file and let's save it save as and I'm going to save this one as tutorial okay hit save and I'll then move on to blender now we have blender open I have the default cube here deleted and what I'm going to do and before I do that let me show you how to import an SVG file now I'll click file and move over to user preferences you have to move over to add-ons and at the category import export and I'm scrolling down and what I want here is to check this one and this is the import export of the scalable vector graphics SVG 1.1 format once you get it saved you're free to save user settings and all that and now we're ready to import SVG files I'll click File and Import and select the SVG Scalable Vector Graphics file. Now let's find it and select it. This is the tutorial.svg. Okay, import it. Now the thing with this one is that the file is, the SVG here is pretty small. I'm going to click Select and select All by Type and select Curve. Okay. And I'm going to hit S and let's scale it up. Lots of times I'm typing in, let's hit S again and let's scale it 20 times. Okay, looking good. All right. So you can see we're having the uh, squares here. What I can do about them is select them all, holding down the shift key to select them all. And hit Control J and join them. Okay. I'll move over to the care of options, click this little icon for the care of options. This, uh, the squares here I set to be 2D objects. So what I'll just do is extrude them. And what you also should do is, let's switch to Cycle Blender. And what you should also do is change the material. The default material is set to black by Inkscape, so you can really see them clearly. 
let's also change the viewport color okay set it to white as well all right looking good now for those extruded vertices you'd better move over to the modifiers and add an edge split modifier so you can see them clearly okay now selecting this one and i'm going to move over to the curve options again going to extrude them as well let's extrude them at about here let's extrude this curve okay looking good and what i'm going to do for this one is move over to the modifiers click add modifier and i'm going to add a solidify modifier and i'm going to bring the thickness down all right and about here okay looking good and you're gonna also i think yeah you can do all sorts of things with the modifiers here on this object remember this is a curve okay so i'm going to click add modifier and i'm going to add an edge split for this one as well okay looking good now this one is set to 3d at the curve options because the shape isn't closed and that creates this little uh, corridors and all that the labyrinth style so quickly i'm going to hit shift a and add mesh plane hit the tab key and s to scale the plane up a lot let's scale it up to 10 okay hitting tab again and one on my memory keypad and then five on my memory keypad for the front overview i'll hit z and z to grab and move on the z axis all right i'm going to quickly move over to the materials and change the diffuse bsd for this one to emission and I'm going to add a glossy material for the labyrinth. And again, quickly just setting up the scene so you can see how it looks and how to set up your own files, your own SVG files and import them into Blender. All right, let's find an interesting angle, Control Alt and Zero to position the camera. I'm going to set it to be orthographic okay let's change the scale let's bring it at about here move over to the board options and again quickly setting up a little scene so you can see and i'm going to select the plane how i set a color to this one let's add a color okay i got a color let's change the viewport to match the material color okay and i'm going to set a glossy for this one as well as you can see we're having lots of materials here and these are the SVG materials as imported by Inkscape. Don't worry about them. Just click New. I'm going to change this one from Diffuse. Let's set it to be glossy PSDF. All right. Moving to the render options. Let's render an image to see how this one looks. Move over to sampling and set the render samples. Let's set the map to 100. Okay. And let's render an image to see. Okay, and this one looks pretty nice, pretty interesting. I'll hit the escape key, set the device to GPU compute, and what I'll also do is add. I'm moving over to the materials again, let's add some roughness. Let's set the roughness to 0 0.1 for the glossy material that uses the that the labyrinth uses, and 0 0.2 for the material of the floor okay let's end it again and since we have we're having these little cubes here emitting light you can lower the environment uh, color the environment strength and let them illuminate the scene a bit more let's bring this one down and see how this one will look okay And that's pretty much the technique behind the lab irin file i've posted at my blog over at graphicsdaily.blogspot.com feel free to experiment feel free to import your own svg files i think it's a pretty fast pretty neat way to create uh, objects for blender so this is Dmitris christu let's see the result and thanks for watching